going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Road to Glory series. Today is episode 11 and we are entering the foot draft once again seeing as we did manage to make our coins back from last episode when we did actually win the draft. Now we do start off with getting here Aguero as our captain, 9 times Messi as our right winger and 97 Ronaldo as our left winger and when it came to the centre mid spot here I didn't know to pick for Modric or Team of the Pogba and it was a case of either chemistry or rating and I decided to go for Pogba because you don't see him pop that much in the draft so um, I was hoping to get some midfielders and we did get lucky and get some and uh, from the team in the end was actually quite a decent team and there we just get a basic right back and a basic left back which I was hoping to uh, upgrade later on and then we weren't very fortunate with our centre back options there so we did have to pick a Spanish player and then we did get Godin I know there is like a 90 rated Godin but I didn't want to risk it so I just played it safe and took him and then in goal we didn't really get any choices to fit the team so I did just go for checks and the highest rated and here I did end up going for Benzema instead of Bale really because we needed um, a striker to link to Ronaldo so Ronaldo was on Kem and then we did manage to get our centre back, which was in the form of Varane, who I think is a very, very good centre back, both in real life and on this game. And then here is a choice between uh, Neymar or Balenciaga at left back. And I thought the left back was fine, so I decided to go for Dean Marie instead of Neymar, because I was hoping to see Neymar pop again. But we do then get Taliso in form and Harry Kane's in form. We do manage to pick up a goalkeeper to fit into the team. And then Mario Gaspar is the next one that pops. And we do end up putting him in at right back instead of Danilo, who we did get after him. And then we got some silvers, which is quite unfortunate because, you know, silvers. Who really wants silvers? But you're going to get them at some point during the draft. Now, the bench, we did actually get a decent bench, but unfortunately we didn't get to see Neymar again. Uh, so we didn't get to get Neymar. I was hoping for Patrice Evra to go in at left back to sort out Pogba. Uh, so then that we can play Pogba. But in the end I thought to put Turan in at centre midfield. Um, so that we could get our chemistry up a bit. But um, even though as much as I wanted to play Pogba. I left him on the bench. And I was thinking about sub basically subbing him instantly. Uh, like for either Pardo or Turan. Now, I think our team was a very, very good team. It was an 88 rated, but unfortunately we didn't get a manager that actually made our chemistry got to 100. So we did end up with a, I believe it was a 186 because for some reason the rating also went down one while I was like testing out the managers. So unfortunately we wound up with 186 but the gameplay for the match that we did play did corrupt and it was the first round that we did not going out in and i'm trying to hopefully not get any more files corrupting it's really frustrating both for you and for me because you miss out on a lot of gameplay but i do show the match highlights here so you do see the goals first goal is really annoying because it was just basically a load of like Aids going on in the box there and it did turn out to be an own goal from Godin. Amazing free kick there from Ronaldo which Czech does save onto the post but uh, Pardo is there to smash it on the volley home making it 1-1 and it wasn't very long after his goal and I don't see how Ronaldo managed to score his header but he does and he makes it 2-1 even though there was two players marking him Pogba and Godin apparently it didn't get to the ball before him and Ronaldo with his amazing head apparently gets that across goal making 2-1 and then very close to the half time, he does make it 3-1. And then just after half time, we do a lovely Medina spin in there to get away from his man with Benzema. And a lovely shot from, uh, I think that's Bruno. It was a bit bit of a uh, poor save from his keeper, but I don't really care when I'm trying to get back into the game. And there we did stop, pass it across the box to Ronaldo to make it 3-3. And unfortunately, here my screen, my TV did like turn off for a second, so I didn't really get to defend that goal where, um, that very well and he did make it 4-3 then ne uh, nearing the end of the match we do get a penalty and put that away of Ronaldo and then in extra time he gets his fifth goal that makes him win the game even though I've marked him and tried to intercept the pass it still didn't work so he did manage to make it 5-4 in the end which is really unfortunate seeing as last time uh, last episode we did manage to win the draft and now this episode we go out in the first round and um, 
But you never know. Just because we go in that first round doesn't mean our packs are going to be bad, but it doesn't mean the stuff we get in the packs is going to be bad. So the reward we do get for going out in the first round was two 5k packs and a silver, uh, silver players pack, which means you only get one rare player. But it does mean that you have a chance of getting someone decent. And we do open up the silver pack. And we are lucky enough to get non-rare as our um, uh, player, obviously. And it was Delhi Ali, meaning we can make some coins back because Delhi Ali, I think, believe sells for about 3,000 coins. Uh, the rest of them don't sell for anything, so I discarded the rest. I probably should have, uh, now looking at it, put that French goalkeeper or try to sell each player, which I'm going to do from now on. Each pack we open, I'm going to try and sell every player in the pack to try and maximise the amount of coins you do get. Um, but I do end up quick selling that. And then in the 5k pack, we do get Wilshire and a couple of fitness cards, which both sell for about 200 in Wilshire, around 600, I believe. Uh, we do also try and sell the managers. And I do keep the contracts. And so far, the packs haven't been too bad. And in the next 5k pack, we do manage to get another non-rare. Um, obviously, because it's a 5k pack and the chance of getting a rare player is really slim. But our rare is a squad fitness, meaning we... Basically, that's I think that sells for about one pound, one thousand three hundred, one thousand four hundred. Uh, we do keep the contracts, and then we do list the fitness and the squad fitness onto the transfer market. And in the end, I think we are like six thousand coins short of uh, getting back to fifteen k because after the managers sell, the fitness sell, and the players sell, we do get to I believe nine thousand or something. Deli Ali did eventually sell off camera. Uh, for the price I do lift them up at and that score fitness did sell instantly so that is good now I'm sorry that we went out in the first round sorry that the gameplay uh, you didn't get to see all of the gameplay and I had to show you the match highlights but this is going to be the end of the video guys I hope you did enjoy I know today's was short but we didn't really get far but as I said, if you enjoyed today's video and, and are enjoying the series, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you aren't enjoying the video, let me know why in the comments below. And if you want some free, uh, cheap MSP and PSN code, check out G2A in the description below. Goodbye.